Percy and the Brake Van One day, Percy was idling at a junction. He had a long goods train that he was taking to Tidmouth. But he had to wait for Henry to pass with a passenger train. At last, Henry arrived. <gasps> Sorry I'm late, he panted. I had to wait ages for the connection on the other railway. Did you know that over there they have goods trains that don't have brake vans? It doesn't seem right, does it? You still got yours. I'm glad to see you. Ah, there's the signal. I must try to make up a bit for the last time. Goodbye. And he puffed importantly away. Percy told his driver what Henry had said about brake vans on the other railway. His driver laughed. Goods trains on the other railway have special brakes, his driver explained. Like passenger trains and Henry's flying kipper, they don't need brake vans. Your trucks only have couplings, so they need brakes at each end of the train in case a coupling snaps. You know how stupid trucks can be. They did it to James on Gordon's Hill, remember? Huh, that's because James was careless. Anyway, I know how to keep my trucks in order. What's good enough for the other railway is good enough for me. I don't need a stupid brake van. Don't be silly, Percy. Your guard wouldn't have a job, you know. Percy took no notice. It would have been better if he had, though. A few days later, Percy was shunting trucks at the harbour near the big station. He was just completing his train by backing onto the brake van when the shunter's attention was distracted. The shunter thought he had coupled the brake van to his train, but he hadn't. The guard blew his whistle and Percy set off quickly, hoping to get a run at the hill leading to the main line. However, Percy had left his guard and the brake van behind. The guard waved and shouted, but Percy didn't hear him. He was too busy climbing the hill. All might have been well if Percy hadn't started so quickly. Unfortunately, the sudden jerk had weakened one of the couplings. As Percy snorted up the hill, the weight of the loaded trucks behind the weakened coupling finally snapped. The last three trucks began to run back down the slope to the harbour. The guard was standing on the veranda of his brake van when he saw the trucks coming and ran to his brake handle and checked it was fully applied. He jumped clear and was just in time. The trucks hit the brake van with a resounding crash. The van shuddered as it was pushed along the line. At last, the line of trucks were halted. Meanwhile, Percy's fireman had noticed they lost the tail of their train. Percy came puffing slowly back down the hill to see what happened. He was glad to see the line of trucks and the brake van was still on the rails. Phew! You see, Percy? Brake vans do have their uses after all. And Percy had to admit, his driver was right.